The essence of the cybersecurity course is it's teaching you to outthink the enemy. The enemy are the hackers. They're the bad guys. They're the people who want to take your money, destroy the systems, stop things working. And what we aim to teach on the course is you to be more devious than the hackers so you can stop them dead in their tracks. Initially, we assume you know nothing about computing. Now our course is slightly different from many undergraduate cybersecurity courses. Our course is broader, so we don't specialize in the first and second year in particular aspects of cybersecurity. And what we aim to do is give you a broad understanding. So if at the end of the course, you decide you want to be a database administrator, work on a help desk, be a developer, an app developer, you've got enough computing skills to do that. So you know more than just cyber. We're a smaller university. We can give you more personal support. Our course is less theoretical and more practical. We're interested in people being able to do stuff at the end of the course, not just knowing academic articles and really good books to read on the subject. So we take you through every aspect of cybersecurity from forensics, that's personal, phones, network, how the hackers work, how does cyber conflict happen, uh, how do you defend a network, how do you attack a network. And then we develop those skills during the course alongside your general computing skills of app development, web development. And it's really about knowing the tools to attack networks, knowing the tools to defend networks. You have to be able to attack in order to be able to defend. Cybersecurity as a career, it's important. It keeps the email working, it keeps the databases on, keeps the websites up, keeps Netflix working. It literally keeps the light on and the electricity flowing. Everyone in cybersecurity contributes to this. And if we fail, we fail badly, but we don't. Most of the time, cybersecurity wins and we outwit the hackers. And that is where the job satisfaction comes from.